is New Genesis Health Green Herb coming to you weekly. I'm Linda, and I the number locally in uh, Wheat Ridge, Colorado is 303-421-9900. Outside the area, 888-765-4372. We're located at 4565 Kipling Street in Wheat Ridge, Colorado. And that is south of I-70, north of 44th on the mountain side of Kipling. We do have Dr. Mike Cass, a uh, chiropractor extraordinaire. He keeps us all upright and going and able to work no matter our age or what's going on. Uh, he also does acupuncture, and he he's the best acupuncturist I've ever been to and also maybe the best chiropractor because he absolutely just can touch you and uh, feel what's wrong, what's out, and adjust your back without, you know, a lot of them want you to go get a series of x-rays and uh, sign up for, you know, so many uh, dollars a year and, and you make these payments and you go back however many times a week. But he does it more according to your body's need and uh, he doesn't require the x-ray unless there's once in a while there's a, a, a more serious or different problem. And I have known of him getting people to get an x-ray. But It's not one of those things where that's just part of his program. Uh, We also have muscle activation technique with Patrick. And Patrick is wonderful. He does, um, it's it's a modality that's quite different from massage or acupuncture or um, chiropractic. It's uh, uh, getting rid of old inflamed material, which is... um, usually uric, lactic, and rachidonic acid, and that's kind of a a ischemic fluid that gathers around a wound and helps you heal in the beginning, but sometimes a wound is bad enough that it doesn't heal right away. So we'll keep that inflammation, and it becomes a chronic pain, chronic problems, and that's really uh, muscle activation technique uh, with Patrick is really good about uh, having virtually rubbing that out, and sometimes it can be painful, and it's a little bit more pricey than a regular massage, but it's very beneficial if you've got an old injury especially that needs help. And I've been there, done that with him. And uh, with muscle activation, I've been getting some muscle activation therapy for about eight or nine years now. And I don't go as much anymore. I had had an accident and uh, went uh, quite a bit in the beginning. I'd go every week, and now it's maybe every couple months I'll go see it. Patrick and get fixed up. But he comes to the Green Herb um, on Tuesdays, and he's very good. We also make our own supplements without fillers, only the freshest ingredients. And when I say fillers, I mean no maltodextrin, no polyethylene glycol, no stearic acid, magnesium stearate, no um, calcium carbonate added, no, you know, just nothing harmful. Uh, There's a lot of people that do put a lot of fillers in because they're only doing so many milligrams. But our whole capsule is a 650-milligram capsule, and it weighs a milligram, so it's five, or 100 milligrams. So it's 550 milligrams of healing um, herbal formulation. And, uh, you know, we've been making these for years. I've worked with several herbologists through the years and taken a lot of classes and then went to school for... Uh, um, bright field microscopy where uh, we're looking in at your blood with one droplet of blood from your finger. Well, I usually squeeze out two of them so we don't have to poke again in case one of them fails. But uh, we're just uh, getting a droplet of blood from the side of your finger, put it on a slide, um, and then we bring it up electronically on a screen, and you get to see it at the same moment that, that I see it. And then we've got a paper of explanation, uh, things that they were, the average person doesn't know all these little facts, but, you know, most people know a little something about the blood. But these facts are just more what should be and what we're looking for that's wrong. And it's just a really wonderful uh, way to help you heal your own body. Um, if you find out that your blood is thick and sticking to each other and you're also dehydrated and, you know, there's... Uh, some immune cells that are fighting this or that. And, um, you you know, those are the kinds of things we look for is the shape of the red cell, the condition of the white cell, the ratio of the white to the red. Um, And we can tell if you've got malabsorption of A, B, C, 
um, and minerals. Even your electrolytes will show up. So it's great to be able to see that and then what are the indicators from those facts. Uh, and so, you know, that's where we go. And then you fill out a form when you come in, and it's a profile that's confidential, uh, and you put down everything about all your current situation, your past, health history, uh, what you eat and drink, what medications are you on, and please bring your doctor's blood test or if you've been to the Nine Health Fair or something like that. Whatever you've got about your health, bring it in, and we consider everything, especially what you say, is the most important of all. And, uh, you know, what are your symptoms? What's going on in your life? And that's where we have to start. Uh, and usually, many times, you know, you just got to alleviate some of the problems that you're having in the beginning in order to get to the deep causes. And I'll talk a little bit about uh, some causes today. Um, but anyway, that's what we do there. We help you uh, understand what's going on inside your body, and we're trying to... Um, a lot of people come in with pain. A lot of people come in with tremendous stress. Uh, a lot of people come in with the inability to think clearly, and they're starting to fear that they're becoming uh, demented, you know, with dementia, Alzheimer's type, or something like that. Um, and most of the time, you know, you know, unless you're brought in there by someone else, I don't think it's that. And so once we get looking at everything that could be going wrong and look at your blood, uh, if you got a little bit more confidence that you can you can help yourself, and that's where we come in is just a little guide, uh, encouragement to help you to help yourself. Uh, another thing that's going on big time right now is allergies. I've got some occurring in my life. I get up in the morning right now, and there's so many things blooming. We've got thirty something trees close around the house, and all kinds of bushes and things blooming, and um, I usually don't have so much on the allergy field, but I've been having a little bit of that. And so we've got a product called Breathe-Ease, and it really helps greatly with allergies. So if you're really suffering from that, that might be a place that you could start. But um, allergies, a lot of times they, are, they can be to foods or airborne chemicals or you know, just something from a plant or the earth as the earth is turned and things begin to grow. I've seen a lot of mushrooms this year. And all those kinds of things can make you have these, like a hay fever, uh, swollen eyes, sneezing, nose running, itchy eyes. Um, and, you know, there's a lot of things you can go and buy uh, over the counter that help. But I'm one of those people that can't do that. If I, I remember once I took... Um, some children's Sudafed syrup or something like that, and it made me sleep, and I couldn't even rouse myself. I'd respond just too much to, to medications and just don't really want to get on things that are not, you know, suggested by a doctor anyway, but I don't really need to go to the doctor for that. But a lot of times when we are absorbing incompletely digested proteins, it, it also affects us. It affects our liver um, the the poor digestion can cause the stacking of the red cells because you, you'd have the spicules or undigested protein sticking to the protein membrane on the red cell themselves. But all of this, uh, w when your liver is involved and your digestion is involved, it, it could be candida. So we want to look at that. Look at your blood to see if you've got fungal forms in there. Um, but there there can be a wide spectrum of severe allergic reactions because if your proteins aren't completely digested and broken down into amino acids, then they can be absorbed in the blood, and that's what we see, and that can is going to irritate and, and, and cause your red cells to stick together, like I said. The immune system uh, can see these uh, things that don't belong in the blood, whether it's something you ate or what, as kind of toxic invaders, and then you get this Im immune response, and you can also get a liver response. And so then um, a lot of people will develop what is called a fatty liver, generally caused from uh, abuse of alcohol, but that's not so in most of the people I see. There's just not the abuse of alcohol at all. But if your food is um, being eaten by candida and then it's excreting acetaldehyde, which is a strong acid, and uh, there's an alcohol side to that, it's going to damage your liver too. 
So, you know, the the more uh, problem you have with digestion and the liver involvement, the more you're going to have an allergic response. And then it can be triggered by foods and definitely this time of the year by airborne antigens. So if we can get you to digest your proteins and start working on killing off the fungal forms from the candida, and candida's got to be in your body. If you come in to see me and you say, oh, I don't have candida, I'm going to say, well, but you're here, so I believe you do, because if we don't have some, we are not going to be alive. Uh, Between 10 and 25% would be a perfectly healthy situation for most Americans. Once it uh, gets above 70%, we're going to see it in your bloodstream, and it has morphed by then, planted little rhizoids or uh, root-like structures into the wall of the the, uh, mucosal lining of the gut, and become a fungal form or it can go yeasty so it's dimorphic so it changes back and forth and a lot of people are just horrified when they see that they have that but it's the most common thing that we do see and because it's the most common thing that we do see we've got the best track record on trying to help you get free of that and it does definitely affect your immune system some people go to the doctor and they're diagnosed with an autoimmune disease that the body is attacking itself. And according to Doug Kaufman, who wrote the Fungus Link books, God did not create your body, anything in it, to attack its own self. If your immune system is attacking something in your body, it is a foreign invader in your blood, in your organs, in your muscles, in your tissue somewhere. So um, when your immune cells are excited and they're attacking whatever they can that invaders, and it's usually what we're usually seeing these days more of, is the fungal forms or candida albicans, then you're you're left kind of hanging there unprotected as well as you should be from your own immune system. So the big job is to give your immune system some relief. Get rid of the invaders, do do a good cleanup. If your bowels aren't moving enough, you're going to be toxic. Uh, you're going to be toxic anyway if the candida is eating your nutrients and excreting acetaldehyde. It, it creates 60 to 70 to sometimes over 100 different kinds of toxins that uh, can make you feel ill. So, And that can act like an allergic response too, by the way, even with foods or um, chemicals, cleaning supplies, uh, I I've known of people that have to live way away from anybody, can't have any kind of substance in their home that, that they've got allergies to, and it can be it can it can be life changing in a very negative way. But there's a way out. I just want to say, anything that we can see in the blood, you can usually work with. If I look at your blood though and see that you don't have enough immune cells. I'm going to try to give you herbs that help you build your immune system. I'm also going to give you a diet, in most everybody's case, that is a clean, healthy way to eat. Not anything fancy. Just You want to eat, um, you want to eat vegetables. You want to eat uh, low on the root crops and high on the, the brightly colored vegetables. You can have meat, chicken, or fish, depending on your, you know, on beliefs and and uh, personal tastes, um, and you know we we like to buy from a farmer and put a half of it in a freezer, and go that way about it because that we feel like that's the best way to do it these days. And then we're very careful about our chicken, and we don't buy any fish from the Pacific Ocean at this time because Fukushima is still boiling out toxicity radiated. All right, be right back after the break. Welcome back to New Genesis Health Green Herb show today on KLTT 670 AM on your dial. I should give the phone numbers for the New Genesis Health Green Herb um, uh, because sometimes I forget to do it often enough. Uh, So locally, 303-421-9900, and this is in Wheat Ridge, Colorado. Outside the area, though, toll-free from wherever, 1-888-765-4372. 
located at 4565 Kipling Street in Wheat Ridge, Colorado. Uh, and I'm just going on and on about the immune system, and I want to um, reiterate a little bit uh, when we're talking about autoimmune disease and Doug Kaufman and his books on fungus. He's got uh, four, I think there's four of those books. I have volume two that's my favorite. I have volume one, but um, after volume one, then there was a lot of kickback and talk, and uh, then he wrote another book. And uh, the way I got it was a person came in and, and uh, said, you sound just like Doug Kaufman. And I said, who's that? So, you know, I'd really love to meet him one day. I think we just have a lot of um, things to talk about to each other. And uh, anyway, he's got a radio show somewhere, I think, out of Florida. But he's also written these books. But when when your immune system is so busy eating, and that is virtually what it looks like when you see a white cell come up to something that doesn't belong in your bloodstream and begin to attack it it open its little membranes and just envelop this um, material that doesn't belong and consume it your white cells live uh, two to four weeks depending on their level of activity and which ones they are but your red cells live four months that's 120 days so when you come in, you've got some red cells that are 120 days old and some that are brand new. It just depends. But if you've got lesser immune cells and looks like you should have, some of the products that we suggest in the dietary changes are going to help you build your immunability back to where it should be. But if, it, if you've got a, a, a nice immune uh, cell count and it looks like a, a proper ratio, but every single one of them, very few are just round sitting there to guard you, and every single one of them otherwise are eating something that doesn't belong, then you're going to be kind of hanging out there more exposed to whatever virus or whatever condition or disease comes along when your your immune system is your protector. It's the most beautiful thing when you see that white cell just open its membrane and start to envelop things that don't belong there. Um, but when all this stuff is going on, uh, I want to just talk a little bit more about the candida because um, it's very sensitive to sugars and foods and chemicals and specific substances um, like even, you know, dairy and um, mold, fungus, like uh, molded cheese that could be moldy, uh, mushrooms, kombucha, uh, and then you don't want to take in a bunch of fermented things if you've got an imbalance. Very important first to find out, do you have an imbalance? And then make the dietary changes depending on what you find out. Anybody, though, could do uh, one helpful little thing to try to bring your acidic digestive uh, acidity back into um, line is the juice of a whole lemon in eight ounces of warm water as soon as you get up in the morning and make sure that 20 minutes later you break the fast of the night with breakfast, break fast. Because you have, uh, so what we do is we eat all day, hopefully good, and then at night we have an at rest repair cycle, and then we, and we've fasted all night, hopefully. And a lot of people like to quit eating at six o'clock. It's great if you can do that and go at least 12 hours before you eat again, you know, and it's just a good rule of thumb. And if your life doesn't suit that, then I'm sure that you can accommodate. But the candida can be there, it breaks through the gut wall, through the mucosal lining. It's only supposed to be in your gut and, like I said before, at 10 to 25%, up at 70% we see it in the bloodstream. It has planted little rhizoids, little root-like structures in the mucosal lining and gotten into the little tiny blood vessels that service our body with all of our nutrients as we eat it and break it down for and minerals and vitamins. Without minerals, you don't absor- absorb vitamins. So it's very important when we're looking at your blood to see a, a lot of electrolytes, maybe 15 to 20 per screen. And, uh, you know, when I'm talking about all this, and if you come in and you've already been hearing all this, it's more familiar to you. But uh, the, the candida is what our body responds adversely to. Um, and so if that gets into your bloodstream, into your organs, uh, Dr. Crook, who wrote um, the Yeast Connection book, his first book ever written on Candida, way back when, um, he w- Dr. William Crook and Dr. Orion Trust were pediatricians, and they noticed a big difference in the health of the children uh, as 
antibiotics had come out and a lot of people were getting antibiotics and they did a ton of research and started writing books. And I actually met Dr. Crook about 26, 27 years ago in Tennessee at a big NIMFA convention. He's a great Christian man. and his, His daughter was following him around taking notes and they were writing another book. <laughs> But he's gone on to be with the Lord now, but he, he's written quite a few books, and he can write them simply that a child could understand, but then you can, you know, get the, there's some that are more complicated or a little, not as childlike, but it's really important that your children can read some of his works and understand what's going on, especially if they've been caught up in all the sugar binging that we do. I'm appalled at the holiday seasons with the great big trucks that just give loads and loads of candy and treats to the grocery stores. And there used to be a small section of that sort of thing in grocery stores, as I remember coming up in the day. Um, now then there's aisles, this entire aisle. And sometimes when they get all the specials, for different holidays in, then in a few days they'll mark it down, and then you see people loading up their buggies with marked-down candy and sugar, and sugar is so offensive to our system. Um, You know, I I know I probably offend the big sugar magnates in Washington, but, you know, wait a minute, guys. Do you let your children eat all that sugar and diminish their immune system and feed cancer cells and feed, feed the wrong bacteria called candida albicans? With sugar, uh, it's the biggest offender there is, and it is also the biggest lobby in Washington, D.C. And I know that I step on toes, but I I really want to appeal to the senses of the people um, that are in control of this. It's just a lot of big money, though, and it's hard to get around when people are making big money. Um, Us little guys that are trying to scream the truth uh, may take a hit now and then, and I do believe that happens. so it is what I try to do is tell you the truth and show you books to read. Um, you know, I should probably talk about more books on the air, but today I've just talked about The Yeast Connection by Dr. William Crook. That's a good one. And The Fungus Link, Volume 2 by Doug Kaufman. Uh, that's another one. So we'll talk about other books as time goes on. But uh, So when all this is going on, and uh, so, you know, I had ended up talking about uh, fish and meat. Now I want to say, and the vegetables, you know, and lower on the root crops because they're carbohydrates mainly, like carrots and uh, potatoes and things. Not that you can't have some, but that shouldn't be the only thing. Like the old guys that say, "I'm just a meat and potatoes man." Well, eat something green, fella, because you're going to feel better. And the other thing is fruit. If you, um, if you, you know, want to really be healthy a lot of people say well eat lots of fruits and vegetables but if you eat a lot of fruit you're going to have a lot of sugar because that's what makes a fruit sweet is sugar and it can be fructose sucrose glucose like in um the most offensive is the grape actually because it's so high in glucose which is a very very strong sugar uh, pineapple is very strong in sugar bananas are mostly sugar now they've been um changed my brother was in the fruit industry and he called me from haiti and said do not eat those bananas as you see them in the market and so you know i found out and this was 30 years ago i mean they've been uh changing the banana trees for many many years so we don't have the normal um bananas like we we used to have in florida growing out behind the well there was a stand of banana trees and they were just little short things, little fat, short uh, fruit. And it wasn't this, you know, foot-long, uh, great big, sweet, sweet, sweet banana. It was a little bit tart, and that's potassium. But anyway, I could go on and on about fruits and vegetables. But if we keep our fruit down to one a day, but if you come in and see that you've got candida, I'm probably going to say, and don't even eat that because it's sugar until we can get your feet under you and get your balance started back. Um, it, it's hard not to eat fruit in fruit season. I understand that. Uh, after the lemon that you have, that's that's a fruit a day. So that's usually where we like to start. And then as time goes on, um, you know, just try to learn to eat more vegetables and uh 
as and I want to mention about salads because I see so many people who have many different kinds of parasites floating around in their blood. They're microscopic, but they're there, and it and uh, people feel squeamish about it. But um, those can be on pre pre washed, triple washed, ready to eat salad mixes because. Uh, when when people tell me that that's the only kind of salad they eat because they're working hard and they come home and they just open the bag and they maybe have a piece of meat and a salad, that's a great thing to do, except please wash that again. You did not see the water. You did not see the person that was doing it. You don't know the conditions and was it thoroughly washed. So it's very simple to clean the sink, put a bunch of sea salt or just plain salt, it doesn't matter, in there uh, and tepid or room temperature water mix it up, dump your salad in there, or you can just use a big, nice, clean bowl and soak it for 10 minutes while you do some of the rest of your cooking and then uh, drain that out. I usually put the colander in a big bowl and put the salt in that and then dump the salad in if I'm using that kind of salad. Usually I just chop my own, but once in a while I like a real fancy salad. But anyway, um, then you drain the salty water off and rinse it again and let it dry. I uh, because my I'm usually in a hurry. I went down to the grocery store and bought a bought a very inexpensive thing called a salad spinner, and you can spin it pretty much dry if you don't like that wetness. And I don't either. I'll either have time to drain it or I'll spin it. But you know, you should eat some leafy greens. Don't try to live just on meat and potatoes. Now, we have to have the protein. We have to have fat. Our brain is fat. It must have fat. And so I want to encourage everybody. Um, I'm not sure where people that are vegan and vegetarian get enough fat, but I've got some family members that eat that way, and I use a lot of avocado oil and um, olive oil, and I make sure that I put those, uh, like if I'm making a, a pot of rice and, or quinoa or something for them, I put a lot of avocado oil in there. Um, one One family member... I make her biscuits, and they're vegan biscuits, and I use the avocado oil instead of butter or um, any of that stuff from a pig. What? Anyway, uh, there's ways around all this, and uh, if you come and see me, we'll talk about anything you want to and bring your medical records. I love every one of you. You're the salt of the earth. Call us, 303-421-9900. God bless you.